I'll just show this for you real quick on how to do 16. This is unit four, E2, number 16. Similar thing from before. I'll just go real quickly through it. Here's your long vector B, probably actually facing up a little bit more like that. Here is your shallow vector A, like that, to scale. Um, in this problem though, they're asking to do uh, B minus A, which is the same as B plus negative A, right? As we just saw in that last problem, um, to get the negative A vector, you're just gonna go in the opposite direction. So your negative A vector is actually gonna extend back like that a little bit. That's negative A, this is positive B, and then it's head tail method. So uh, you could uh, bring the B vector over, so you'd have something like this, and then going start to finish, you'd go start, whoosh, finish, and then you're done. Measure it, get the angle, you're over. <clears throat> Interesting thing about this problem is that this vector here, um, B minus A, that is actually the opposite of uh, A minus B. The vectors are different by 180 degrees. So if A minus B from before, we call that vector D, this is technically vector negative D. So above vector D was pointing straight down, or pretty close. This vector is pointing up. So they're off by 180 degrees there uh, whenever you do something like that, okay? But that's how you do 16. Same thing, Austin, just different vectors there, okay?